Bowie. After one or two false starts, his rise to fame became meteoric, equaled only by his fictional character Ziggy Stardust. His admirers called him a prophet, a demigod and a superman, and his critics a hoaxer and a charlatan. Two years ago, David Bowie retired to the United States of America, and, earlier la and early last year, he appeared in a film in Mexico. Now, we have David Bowie on the line now from Los Angeles. Are you there, David? I believe you have an announcement to make. Yes. Um, I'm touring, but I'm, in, I'm coming back to England in May to uh, play shows and, and uh, look at you and look at England. Yes, and what sort of image are you coming back with? Is it going to be the old Ziggy Stardust look or something new? I, I think the image I may adopt may well be uh, me. I'm sort of, sort of uh, uh, inventing me at the moment. Well, your shows are always renowned for their astounding nature, especially in the way they're dressed. Have you any thoughts on how you're going to astound people with your new tour? I, no, I haven't any thoughts about that at all. The, imp the, the impact of the show has to be the astounding thing, not, not the dressing of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Dressing of a show is just a dressing. It's uh, a sort of a perfunctory kind of thing. But the, the content has to astound. I mean, uh, you can dress a show with a, a trillion dollars or a trillion pounds worth of uh, goodies, but if the show is not uh, uh, substantial, there will be no impact. Well, you've just finished your first film called The Man Who Fell to Earth. When can we be expecting to see this? Um, it's finished in, uh, in visual. It's not finished in sound. I've got to uh, record um, the sound. We've written a lot of it. It's, I tell you, all I can tell you is it's uh, a love story more than uh, anything else. It's very, very sad, very romantic. It brought a lump to my throat watching it. Um, and it's been uh, uh, a gas working on it.